Hey, what's up guys? Steve here with 10 Club Cards, and welcome to episode 10 of the Looking Back series. In today's episode, we'll be looking back at the inaugural 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set. While Upper Deck entered the hobby with a bang in 1989 with their first baseball card set, they didn't jump into the basketball card market until 1991. The 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set consisted of a 500 card set, with Series 1 including the first 400 cards, and Series 2 including the last 100 cards of the set. With this set, Upper Deck introduced the basketball card market to its high quality cards and designs. Similar to Upper Deck's baseball card sets, the 1991-92 basketball set introduced high quality and high definition action photos along with a glossy card finish. The cards were well designed as seen here in the Scotty Pippen base card, card number 125. The front of the cards featured Upper Deck's traditional white borders around all four sides of the card and included a bottom and right border featuring a wood grain color finish representing the floor of a basketball court. The right border included the Upper Deck logo at the top, the player's team logo meeting at the bottom right of the card, and the player's team name running down the middle of the right border. The bottom border of the cards featured the player's name on the left side and the player's position on the right, just left of the player's team logo. Now that we've gone over the card designs, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Series 1. Series 1 contained 400 cards totaling 80% of the complete 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set. The series contained a majority of the star base cards and included several subsets as well. Series 1 kicked off with a 20 card subset featuring the top NBA draft picks. These 20 cards were the exclusive Upper Deck rookie cards for these 20 incoming NBA players. The cards from this subset were essentially a parallel to the base cards, as the draft pick card design mirrored the exact design of the base cards except for the player's team logo that would usually be located at the bottom right of the card was replaced with the NBA draft logo. The back of the cards included a summary of the player's prior NBA experience and basic draft info that included the NBA team they were selected by. The two most recognizable names from the 20 card subset would be rookie Dikembe Mutombo, who was drafted by the Denver Nuggets fourth overall in the 1991 draft, and Larry Johnson, who was drafted with the first overall pick by the Charlotte Hornets. The next notable subset of Series 1 was called the Classic Confrontation Set and was a 5 card subset that made up card number 30 through card number 34. The first card of the subset featured Larry Bird versus Chuck Pearson. The second card included Carl Malone versus Charles Barkley. The third card of the set featured Kevin Johnson versus John Stockton. The fourth card included Akeem Olajuwon versus Patrick Ewing. And the fifth and final card of the subset that still is one of the most iconic cards from the 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set showcased Magic Johnson versus Michael Jordan. The next major subset included in Series 1 was the All-Star set. While there was an All-Star subset in both Series 1 and Series 2, we will go over the latter in the next section when we take a closer look at Series 2. The Series 1 All-Star subset consisted of 24 cards, running from card number 49 through card number 72. Some of the key All-Stars featured in this subset included Magic Johnson, card number 57, David Robinson, card number 58, Patrick Ewing, card number 68, Michael Jordan, card number 69, and Charles Barkley, card number 70. The 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set also featured a team card subset similar to the subset we went over on episode 6 that was included in the 1990 Skybox Series 2. Unlike the Skybox team card subset, Upper Deck featured a star player from each team in the set rather than the team logo for each card. The team card subset consisted of 27 cards with each card representing one of the then 27 NBA teams and made up for cards number 73 through card number 99 of the set. Some notable team cards from the subset included Larry Bird representing the Boston Celtics on card number 77, Dominique Wilkins 
representing the Atlanta Hawks on card number 79. James Worthy, featured on the Los Angeles Lakers team card, number 85. Reggie Miller, featured on the Indiana Pacers team card, number 90. And Isaiah Thomas, representing the Detroit Pistons on card number 91. Three other key players included in the team card subset were Hakeem Olajuwon, representing the Houston Rockets on card number 92. Sean Kemp, representing the Seattle Supersonics on card number 96. And no 1990 set wouldn't be complete without Michael Jordan, who was representing the Chicago Bulls on card number 75. With so many subsets starting at the beginning of the 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball card set, it's easy to forget Series 1 was made up of a total of 400 cards. As the base cards finally come in on the checklist, starting at card number 101, and run all the way through to card number 400, ending Series 1. 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball featured several second year base cards for many 1990 rookies we've covered in previous episodes. Some of these cards included Glenn Rice, card number 147, Seattle Supersonics Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, who were featured on cards number 153 and card number 173, and Tim Hardaway, card number 243. Outside of Dikembe Mutombo and Larry Johnson, who we covered in the NBA Draft Picks subset, the Series 1 base cards really didn't feature any rookie cards worth noting. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Series 2. Series 2 featured the last 100 cards that completed the inaugural 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball 500 card set. Cards number 401 through card number 437 of Series 2 consisted of a mix of rookies and veterans. While not including any key rookie cards, some of the veterans in the part of the Series 2 included Moses Malone, card number 402, Spud Webb, card number 419, and Doc Rivers, card number 420. Series 2 featured a total of three new subsets. The first subset of Series 2 included 11 cards looking at the NBA's top prospects and ran from card number 438 through card number 448. Featured in the NBA Draft Picks subset that kicked off Series 1, both the Kemby Mutombo, card number 446, and Larry Johnson, card number 445, make a return to Series 2 and are included in this subset. Another notable name that was included in Series 2 NBA's Top Prospects subset was Rick Fox, who was featured on card number 443. The second subset of Series 2 was another All-Star set, including cards from both the Eastern and Western Conference All-Star teams. Some of the key players featured from the Eastern Conference All-Star team included Charles Barkley, card number 454, Patrick Ewing, card number 455, Dennis Rodman, card number 457, and Michael Jordan, card number 452. Some of the players included for the Western Conference All-Star team featured Magic Johnson, card number 464, Carl Malone, card number 466, Tim Hardaway, card number 468, and making his third appearance in the 1991-92 inaugural basketball set was rookie all-star Dikembe Mutombo, who was featured on card number 471. The last subset of Series 2 was the all-star skills set that featured different players from the skills competition from the Orlando All-Star Game weekend. Two notable players from this subset who were featured in the dunk contest were Sean Kemp, card number 481, and much like Dikembe Mutombo in the previous subset, rookie all-star Larry Johnson makes his third appearance in the inaugural 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball set on card number 480. Series 2 wrapped up with a mix of rookie and veteran base cards from card number 485 through card number 500. The most notable rookie in the last series of cards is Luke Longley, card number 491. So there you have it guys, a look back at the first year of Upper Deck Basketball Cards, 